it's it's usually voices that sort of start talking to me. And I know that makes me sound a little, it's, it's dialogue or situations or a moment. And then from that moment, I sort of let the people just sort of talk and figure out where we are and go from there. This one's kind of embarrassing. Um, Laura from The Glass Menagerie, and I, I don't have a limp and my mom is super cool, but I think sometimes I have a tendency to, to get lost in my imaginary world and there's a sweetness to her and a darkness to her and sometimes I feel like an outsider and I know she feels that way too and even though our circumstances aren't the same, there's something in that character that is so lovely that just really resonates. I think the play kind of decides itself. I think when you're a younger playwright, there are a lot more opportunities in the one act sort of space. So it's this idea of the same structures there, beginning, middle, end, it's just sort of squished. I don't know, I think the play tells you. There are first drafts that I've written that have taken years to really come to fruition. And I think one play I wrote that got produced, I wrote it on a train ride from New York to Philly. So every play is, is different with the process that I think it needs. Oof, I wish, I wish I knew. Right, create things. Find those group of people that you really trust with your words because it's really easy in the beginning of a process to have an idea, the seed of an idea be killed, right? Um, when you're starting, so just keep writing and putting it out there. Because the cool thing about theater is that all it takes is getting a couple people and putting them in a room and you can make a play. <laughs>